Yeah, this is the Mario 100 back once again for another video. And in um, today's video, I got a um, CD, DVD, and Blu-ray update. So um, let's get started with the CDs I picked up at the flea market. I got an Elvis CD here. Pretty good. You can't go wrong with that. This guy never goes out of style. Elvis Presley, the king of rock and roll. And it's got some good words. Like some most of these songs in here have Elvis are well known, but there's some really rare ones on here, like Pork Salad Annie. You don't hear a lot of. Um, Baby Let's Play House, like it has some rarities on here too, and it's also got him covering um, Big Boss Man, I think, by like Jimmy Reed Ridgely, that he's doing a cover of, but this is a good Elvis CD to have in your collection, Elvis Best of the Century. And another CD I got, the Best of MC5, The Big Bang, Best of MC5, Cool 70s Band, they started in the late 60s, early 70s, they were Kick Out the Jams, you know the famous song, Kick Out the Jams, motherfuckers! They were very uh, revolutionary in their day. The hippie or MC5. Great band. They came out of up the Detroit area. I believe they're from Detroit. They were kind of like punk. You call them like punk rock. I think they're kind of like a, a rock or the earlier, like the earliest punk, one of the earliest punk bands around. But they're really good. MC5. I really enjoyed this band. Great band. MC5. And then I got some ACDC ones. The, the guy at the flea market had some ACDC ones. He sold them to me for all he got these CDs for a buck a piece. I really got a good deal on these CDs. I got ACDC Who Made Who. Good, fantastic ACDC album. And for you guys all know a lot of these ACDC albums, I'm not really going to get into help what songs are on it. ACDC Jailbreak 74, awesome. It's got Jailbreak on it. You ain't going to hold on to me. Show business, soul stripper. And baby, please don't go. Good, good, good ACDC album. Love it. Then I got ACDC Ball Breaker. A Ball Breaker! Oh, you Ball Breaker! That's, got a, that's a good song. ACDC Ball Breaker. Then I got ACDC's Stiff Upper Lip album from 2000. This came out in 2000. Yeah, this case is a little banged up, but for a buck you can't go wrong. As long as the CD version, I'm really not worried about the case being a little banged up, but for a buck ACDC you can't go wrong, so. And then I got um, ACDC Live, which is two CDs. The ACDC MS, the famous live album, which has got two discs on it. Came out in '92. Very good album. It's got all their good songs on it, like Thunderstruck, Shoot the Thrill, Back in Black, Sin City, Who Made Who, Fire Your Guns, Jailbreak, The Jack Razors, Edge, Hell's Bells, You Shook Me All Night Long, Highway to Hell, The Tribute to Bonnie, TNT. Like it's got all kinds of good stuff on it. I grew up on ACDC. My dad had all the ACDC albums. I listened to a lot of ACDC as a kid. All my uncles listened to ACDC, and I'm a big ACDC fan. You can't go wrong with ACDC. One of the all-time greatest, the kick-ass band, dressed like schoolboys. You can't go wrong with ACDC. And then I got the best of the Doors, which I picked up. But it's just got a lot of good of the Doors albums, like Break On Through, Light My Fire, Love Me Two Times, Hello I Love You, People Are Strange, Writers on the Storm, L.A. Woman. Um, this is just a fantastic Doors album. Love Jim Morrison and the Doors. You got to you got to get the CD of your collection. Now, I know a lot of people nowadays, like I said, download their music off iTunes on like iPads and stuff. iPods, if, if you like that kind of stuff. But me, I like CDs. And then I got like, download all that stuff, like movies and music and stuff like that. And I like I still like CDs, so I like to collect CDs for the artwork and listen to the music. I know a lot of people, like I said, download on iTunes now, but I don't do that stuff. So I got those CDs for my clutch. And I wanted the DVDs and Blu-rays I picked up. But I didn't pick up a lot of Blu-rays this week or CDs by, or DVDs. But I do have a couple here that I picked up. And the first thing I picked up on DVD is WWE Survivor Series 2011. Never before, never again. John Cena and The Rock teaming up. Teaming up to take on um, uh, the Iron Truth and The Miz. And then you got The Big Show versus Mark Henry for the World Heavyweight Championship. And then for the WWE Championship, Alberto Del Rio versus CM Punk. Looks to be a great pay-per-view. Glad to have it in my collection. I'm sure a lot of you wrestling fans already have it on here. I know YW Shattuck 84 has it. I'm pretty sure Morgan's probably got it by now. Really, really, I'm pretty sure all you guys probably have it. So yeah, that's one of the DVDs I picked up. The other DVD is WWE TLC 21 with CM Punk on the front with the ice cream bar. Good shot of the ice cream bar. What I like about CM Punk is he's a story and he brings the ice cream bars back and started. A lot of people don't remember about the ice cream bars until CM Punk mentioned it on Raw and that, but it's pretty cool. So, yeah, there's some good matches on this too. You got United States Championship match, 
Um, Dolph Ziggler with Vicky Guerrero versus Zack Ryder. You got the Intercontinental match, Cody against Booker. You got Tables match, Orton versus Wade Barrett. Chairs match for the World Heavyweight Championship, Mark Henry versus Big Show. Sledgehammer Triple H versus Kevin Nash in the WWE Championship. Triple Threat, uh, Bill W versus The Miz versus CM Punk. So overall, looks looks like a good pay per view. I have not got a chance to watch this yet, but plan to very soon. So that's what I picked up on DVD. Just those two wrestling. Now one of the Blu-rays I picked up. I do have a couple here. I didn't get as many as I had last one because I told you guys the last update is because it was Christmas time. So I had a lot more stuff because I got Christmas money. But this time I did pick up a few things. And the first thing I picked up on Blu-ray is Killer Elite. With starring um, John, Jason Statham, Cleve Owen, and Robert De Niro. I heard this is really good. I have not seen it yet myself. I just picked it up at BJ's previously previewed for nine ninety nine, where it's like thirty bucks in the store. I got it for ten, so I did really good there. Purely, it just come out. The only thing with when you buy a second at, at BJ's is they don't give you a DVD. Like you only get the Blu-ray for nine ninety nine. But I don't need the DVD anyway, so the combo. I just need the Blu-ray, so I got that for nine ninety nine. Can't, can't wait to get around to watch it. I heard a lot of people like this movie, so. I'm hoping to get around to watching it. Killer Elite. Picked up that, and then I got um. Um, the next one I got is the new um. Uh. Move with Vin Diesel, Paul Walker, and Dwayne Johnson. Fast Five. It says best in the series. Um. I have not seen this yet since I got it, but I've heard good reviews and that about it. I heard it's really good, but I've not seen it yet. But I had to get this to go from another one, so yeah, I got Fast Five. I know some of these people already have slip covers to this and that. Mine doesn't have it, but for nine ninety nine, I got it at BJ secondhand. For nine ninety nine, you can't go wrong. It's not only like secondhand, but like they call it previously previewed or whatever you call it. I picked it up for nine ninety nine, so ten bucks. You can't go wrong. This newer one, so yeah, I picked that up. And then the next thing I got. I don't know if you guys know, but Universal's having a thing right now, like a 100th anniversary. They're bringing out all these movies with, like, they got, like, slip covers to them. 100th anniversary. They had a whole rack at my Walmart, and the three I picked up so far. There's a couple other ones back there I'd like to get. Like, they have the 40-year-old Virgin you out know, on the 100th anniversary. They have, um, I think Kevin Costner in Waterworld. They got Babe. They have Apollo 13 out. Know, all the movies with slip covers. But the three I picked up, the first one I picked up is the 1973 classic American Graffiti. Which is the class that which comes with the DVD and Blu-ray. There's what the back looks like. I don't know if anybody in here has ever seen American Graffiti, but it is a classic. I definitely recommend if nobody's ever seen American Graffiti to pick it up. It's definitely worth the money. Got this for ten dollars. I got all these ones for ten dollars. These hundred anniversary because I had a coupon there for fifteen, but I got five bucks off. So I got the Blu-ray DVD for for ten bucks, which is a good buy. You ain't gonna get any better than that. They're both a DVD and Blu-ray. So yeah, you got American Graffiti. Which was directed by George Lucas and it came out in 73 before Star Wars. And that, and you got the Making of America Graffiti original documentary feature with cast and crew. You got Screen Test with Ron Howard, Richard Dreyfus, Cindy Williams, Mackenzie Phillips, Paula Matt, and Charles Martin Smith. So there you go. American Graffiti Classic. And the next thing I picked up is a Spike Lee Classic. I'm sure a lot of people on here has probably seen it. And it's called Do the Right Thing, which has got the slip cover. I'll just quickly take this out to show it look like it. I didn't get American Graffiti out, but this is what it looks like underneath when you take the slip cover off. It looks like that. There's the back of it, and then it's got all like the special feature. Then when you open it up, there's the Blu-ray of Do the Right Thing. And then when you flip the page, there you got the um, DVD part to it to do the right thing. So there you go. There's the Blu-ray. There's the DVD. So that's what it looks like on the inside. So yeah, so there you go. So that's what it looks like on the inside of them. The slip cover, the slip covers are really nice to these. So, and you get an all new 20th anniversary feature commentary by director Spike Lee. And look at that, do the right thing 20 years later on the Blu-ray. So that's pretty cool. And the last one I picked up in the in the Universal 100th anniversary ser series, it's Fast Times at Richmond High. Comes with the Blu-ray DVD. Love this. One. I'm sure everybody on here has seen this as a cult classic. Fast Times at Richmond High. Now, I know a lot of people complained about this when the Blu-ray came out of it, saying it looked like junk and that, and it wasn't very good the picture quality and that, but I'm a little bit easier to please than some people on here, so I'm, I'm pretty sure I'll like it. Fast times at Richmond High. I don't expect, like I said, these older comics from movies for them to really spend a whole lot of money to do a lot of work on them, so 
they are, they are, but it's just cool to have it on Blu-ray. I think it's, it's, it's going to look a little bit better than the DVD. Like, it'll look a little bit better. It's not going to look like something that came out yesterday, but, you know, it's still going to look a little bit better than the DVD. So, yeah, I'm just happy to have it in my collection. I know that's got a lot of, they dumped this movie on YouTube. Like, a lot of people buried this movie saying it did not look good on Blu-ray, but, I mean, for $10, I had to pick it up for the, both the Blu-ray and DVD. You can't go on there, so, picked it up. A lot of people had bad reviews for it. Some people liked it and some people didn't. So, but not the movie itself, but I mean, like the picture quality, I mean. So, but I'm just glad to have it in my collection. Love Fast Times at Richmond Hill. Definitely a classic. Love it. And you gotta love Louis, Sean Penn's Louis Spicoli in this movie. Just awesome. In this movie. So, it's just a great movie here. I mean, I, I mean, Jeff Spicoli. I said Louis Spicoli. The rest, I was thinking of the rest. I mean, Jeff Spicoli. That was my screw up there. You got me screwing up on here. But yeah, I mean, please, Jess Spicoli, I mean, on this movie. But yeah, it's really, really good, Fast. I'm sure everybody's seen it, so I'm just going to leave it up there and then move on to the next one. And the last two I got are kind of romantic classics. This first one's definitely a real, real classic. I'm sure a lot of people have seen it. And it's not in the Woody Allen classic, Annie Hall, which they picked up with him and Diane Keaton. Love this film, Annie Hall. I've seen it before, but never owned it on DVD or Blu ray, but I had it on VHS years ago. Love Danny Hall. Definitely a timeless classic that has lived on. And I'm sure a lot of, I'm sure some people on here hasn't seen it and some has, but it's definitely a, a romantic classic, Annie Hall, one of the best ever. If you don't have Annie Hall in your collection, you definitely gotta pick it up. This movie speaks for itself, so just a, a classic. Love it. Always been a fan of Annie Hall, so there you go. So yeah, they have they're putting all the Woody Allen collection. So they had Manhattan up there and a couple of other ones, but I wanted to get Annie Hall, so I picked that up on Blu-ray. So definitely a classic. I'm sure a lot of people on here's probably got Annie Hall and some people don't, but Stuff you romantic classic. Now this next one I do like. It's a Drew Barrymore movie. Some people like this and some people don't, but I had to get it on Blu-ray because I've always liked this Drew Barrymore movie. And it's not longer than never been kissed. I'm sure some people. I'm not really going to go into detail because a couple people's got it on review on here if you want to see it. But yeah, this I've always liked this Drew Barrymore movie. Never been kissed. Now, some people like it and some people dump on it, but I've always liked it. And Drew Barrymore is hot as fuck. So you can't go. I always like Drew Barrymore. She's hot. You can't go wrong with Drew Barrymore, so I had to pick this movie up. And this is kind of like a chick flick, like it's not like it's it's kind of like a high schooler movie, but it, it's kind of got a little bit of a chick flick to it, kind of feeling. But I does I definitely like this one. I don't have no problems with chick flicks if they're really good. Like I can get into chick flicks, so I know some guys can, but I'm pretty sure deep down inside all guys have at least one chick flick they like, so. But yeah, but this is really good. Never been kissed with you very much. I've seen it before when it came out back in '99. I always liked it ever since then. So I never had it on DVD before at all. So I picked it up on Blu-ray. But yeah, I've always liked Never Been Kissed. So there you go. So that's been my um, DVD Blu-ray update for this time. CDs too as well. And um, I'll probably have um, another uh, update coming in probably. A couple weeks or so. I'm not gonna buy as much this month as I did last month. The only reason why I had it so much last month is because um, I'll make Christmas money in that. So that's why I had so many last time. A big update. But yeah, this is what I picked up for this month. So probably in a few weeks I'll have another update, picking up more wrestling. I'm gonna order some Blu-rays in that. Some other wrestling ones I want to catch up on that I haven't got yet. So I'll have probably more wrestling in my next update and a few other movies. So yeah. So this, like I said, has been my uh, update for this time. And uh, I'll try to get back on as soon as I can with another update. So, like I said, probably about three weeks or so, maybe a little less than three. I'll try to get on with either two or three weeks with another update. So, anyways, this has been the Mario 800, and this has been my um, CD, Blu ray, and DVD update. And I'm out. Take care, guys.